How much would it cost to build a modest home studio if I'm starting from scratch? To build a modest home studio, um, how much would it cost? Yeah, to build a modest home studio. If you're starting from scratch, well, look, I did a video, I think, where I said uh, $1,000. Can you do it with $1,000? Not counting the computer, okay? Assuming that you're going to use your home computer, and you can, as long as you don't, you know, your track count is low. So you don't go crazy with track, like a hundred tracks and you know a bunch of plugins and you know the, your 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 everyday home computer is not going to be able to handle that kind of workload. There's no way that's going to happen, okay? But assuming that that's not the case and you want to do a a simple demo of a, a singer songwriter type of thing with a guitar vocal piano vocal, your home computer will do. Okay, it's fine. You can, you know, get a get a DAW, whichever one you want. I use Reaper. You can pick a digital audio workstation of your choice, and uh, with a couple of plugins, a couple of tracks, you know, you'll be fine. Okay, so without the computer, you can get away with a thousand dollars. You know, um, keeping it modest, keeping it low end, keeping it cheap, right? So monitors, you can get KRKs, which I I think KRKs are great value. You can get the five inch uh, five inch KRK fives, whatever they're called. You can pick those up for a couple of hundred these days, even, you know, secondhand three, 400, something like that. A couple of hundred dollars for a mic. You could get a road NT one for a couple of hundred dollars. You know, you could use an audio interface, like a Scarlett two I two, which already has the two pre preamps. You're not going to use any outboard gear. That's for sure on a low budget like that. But, um, you could use the two I two. That's a couple of hundred dollars headphones. You'll need headphones. Okay, guaranteed you'll need headphones because when you're recording something like this, like an acoustic guitar, you're going to put a microphone in front of it, a condenser microphone, you need to hear what it's sounding like. You need to hear, and especially if you're going to have a backing track, you're going to have a little bit of maybe a drum beat or, or a keyboard or even a, even a click, you know, to keep the timing right, you need headphones. Okay, so, and then if you're going to record... Um, if you're going to record the guitar and the vocal at the same time, you'll need two mics, okay? Unless the, the, the guitar, unless you can plug it in, you can use one of the preamps, plug the guitar in with a quarter inch jack. They're combo jacks on the Scarlett. It's an XLR and quarter inch. So you could plug it, you could plug in a guitar in, into one of the preamps, plug in your condenser mic into the other preamp, which you're going to sing into. And then you can you can actually record yourself playing and singing at the same time. But if your guitar does not have a preamp in it, in other words, you can't plug it in, and it's just an acoustic like this one here, it doesn't have any 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 uh, you know, it's just a classical guitar. So you need to put a mic in front of that. So you'd need a second microphone. All right. So you'd need two microphones. Um, if you're gonna do both at the same time, but if you're gonna overdub, so you do the guitar in one pass and then record the vocal on top of the on top of that again of course you need those headphones okay so um headphones are important so basically with a thousand dollars you can get away with that you can go a little higher end like i mentioned the babyface uh pro is an upgrade that's about eight hundred dollars you can pick one up for about eight hundred dollars uh you can upgrade your monitors you can go there's all kinds of levels and i've been through all of them believe me <laughs> i've been through it all um right now i'm very happy with my setup the thing what i have here this is a, the, a, a home studio that is a little bit on the higher end but uh you know it it you know it's a it's years of development and years of actually you know putting all this stuff together and uh, building my way up there Right. So initially, you're going to start off with low end stuff and there's nothing wrong with that. That's all good. And it all depends on your budget. You know, you might start off at this level straight away, depending on what, you know, resources you have available to you. OK, so everyone's different. It doesn't matter even. And I've said this many times and I believe it that from my own experience is that even the low end stuff is pretty darn good. Okay, even that low end stuff, you got the Scarta 2i2, the KRK fives, and the Road NT1, you know, it, it's all good, you know, and you can get away with that. And with your home computer, if you're going to do simple demos, you can do a pretty good job. Okay, it's a far cry from the the back in the day with the tape and the the XR6, the XR, uh, what was it, the uh, Fostex 
XR26 or X26, whatever it was. That was my first multi-track recorder. You know, Tascam had a bunch, you know, all these tape-based multi-track recorders. You know, we've come a long way. The cheapest stuff you can buy now is 10 times better, better sounding than that stuff, in my opinion.